Samuel Morse, The Telegraph and Morse Code by Deborah White Samuel Morse was born on April 27, 1791 in Charlestown, Massachusetts. This is the home where he was born. He was the first child born to Pastor Jedediah Morse and Elizabeth Ann Finley Breeze. Samuel had two brothers, Sidney and Richard. Samuel was also a painter, and this is the family portrait Samuel painted of his family in 1810. Samuel began his formal school training at Phillips Academy when he was nine. At the age of 14, he entered Yale College. To earn money while in college, he began painting portraits, but he also liked to attend lectures on electricity. And this is the picture Samuel Morse painted of himself in 1812. Samuel married Lucretia Walker in 1818. They had three children, Susan, Charles, and James Morse. Lucretia died after her third child was born in 1825. Samuel married Elizabeth Griswold in 1848 and had four more children. And this is the family portrait that Samuel Morse painted of Lucretia Morse and his family in 1822. After college, Samuel wanted to continue his education as a painter. His father told him no. He had to become a bookseller's apprentice. Later, his father said he could study painting, and he went to England to study. And this is what he looked like about the time that he went to England. Samuel Morris painted mostly portraits and is best known for his painting of General Lafayette. The original telegraph was invented in 1774. It was bulky and had many wires. Samuel Morse worked on making a better version of the telegraph. And we remember at the beginning of the story, it talked about how he liked to go to lectures on electricity. And this is when he started becoming interested in this type of invention. Samuel Morse met Charles Thomas Jackson in 1832. They discussed electric impulses traveling in wires. In 1837, Samuel applied for a patent for the telegraph. Alfred Vail and Leonard Gale helped Morse in making the telegraph machine. And this is something very similar to what the first telegraph machine would have looked like. In 1843, a telegraph line was put in place between National Capital and Baltimore, Maryland. On May 24, 1844, the first message was typed out. And the message said, What hath God wrought? And the dots and the dashes are the code that he used when he sent his message. This is an example of the Morse code in alphabet. And you use a dot and a dash for A. And you can look through the rest of the alphabet and see what they used when they typed the Morse code. Along with the telegraph, Samuel Morse helped develop the Morse code, which used short signals of dots and dashes to send messages. If you were looking at this Morse code, how would you spell your name in Morse code? Samuel Morse was important in being one of the pioneers in helping build communication. The invention of the telegraph helped us to have walkie-talkies, phones, and the cell phones of today. Without him, we might not have gone as far, gotten as far as we did today with all our cell phones and the electronics that we use. Samuel Morse died in New York City at 81 on April 2, 1872.